And we are live. Welcome back, everyone, to the Temple of Technology. I am your host, Scott James Magner, the idiot with a microphone. Just to make that reveal big like that. I should do an animation where it goes whoosh. But then I wouldn't be an idiot. I'd be a, a professional with a microphone like this one, my microphone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. And I am back again here in the Temple of Technology for a little more unboxing. There's my watch telling me that I'm live on Twitch. Welcome to people who are not watching me on Twitch. Couldn't get here without your support. So, uh, tonight's unboxing video is going to be for Apple AirPods Pro. I have been wanting AirPods Pro for a while. There just wasn't a lot I could do to justify that purchase since I'm staying inside the last two years. And it really means uh, nothing when you've got speakers in front of you and speakers everywhere and you can wear real headsets and you don't have to worry about carrying them around you don't care as much about your wireless headphones and i've got a bunch of wireless headphones in this house i have many 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 wireless headphones in this house including uh you know my my corsair st100s up there i've got uh i've got a monitoring set of headphones I can do there, which are also Bluetooth headphones. I can take those on the road. I got tons of them. Specifically, I have for my iPhone, iPhones, this number I've had over the years, I got a pair of AirPods 2 once upon a time. And uh, it's when I was still working downtown and I was commuting back and forth to work. They don't come in this case. I had to get that case separate. But this is what they look like when I bought them. And I got them used off a dude. He, uh, somewhat sketchy. I found him on Facebook. You know, many Facebook sales stories that I have are a bit on the sketchy side. But this guy was here in Seattle. He wanted to meet. And, uh, for 80 bucks, I could get his AirPods 2. Because he, of course, was upgrading to AirPods Pro. And, uh, that's, you know, he just wanted to get some bit out of his purchase and he would go on about his day. So, I get there, I take the train down, I think, to some damn place south of Beacon Hill. And I I meet this guy, I got 80 bucks in my hand. I'm texting him on my phone back and forth to figure out where he is. And he, we finally hook up in the, in the parking lot of the Red Apple down there next to the train station. And this guy, he shows up, he shows up, he shows up with his hand out, right? Not even a, a wave or high. He's like, hey, let me see the things, right? And so he... uh he pulls these out of his pocket. He opens the case up. He hands me one. Says, "All right, go, give it a listen. Give it a listen." And he's got it paired up to his phone, and they sound okay. Everything's fine. So we tested everything out. Everything was good. I, I gave him the eighty dollars. He handed this to me, and he dropped it. He dropped this case. Boom on the hard pavement. It goes skittering under a truck. We got to go look for it. And when we get there, uh, the case is open. One of these guys has skittered out and gone, woo! And, you know, we had to look for that for a while, so transaction not going well. Oh, in fact, uh, because I opened this up, my MacBook said, hey, you're not asleep anymore. And the second I closed it, oh, yeah, we got to... I just want that to go away. It'll go away eventually. But, uh, so these things are fraught, and it took me a while to get them unpaired from his phone to my phone to do a bunch of things. I had to learn how to push this button a bunch of times on the back, and, and really, I learned the ins and outs of the AirPods. And uh, over time, they just kind of sucked. And it's not any fault of Apple's. I think it's just that I bought used product. And I knew it wasn't going to be a new product, and I knew it wasn't going to work the same as new product, but I bought it used, and I got a used product. And so I've used them for various recordings of videos uh, when I want to go outside and do stuff. You can't stream with them all that well, but you can do web calls with it. And so for the last couple of days, I've been doing web calls with my AirPods instead of uh, camera, camera One, which is not hooked up to the PC today. It's up... Uh, still hooked up to the uh to the macbook and the microphone on that but it's like is it really the best microphone is that what i want to to be to be my my on treaty rather and to you know 
our, our corporate environment. I, I want people to hear my strident voice. I don't want them to hear, you know, a scratchy voice from two, three feet away or, you know, the, the shit-tastic sound I get out of this WebMic Pro. I certainly don't want that. And that was my the camera I had hooked up to this MacBook for a few days. Uh, a few weeks, actually. Trying to, trying to get everything dialed in. So a bunch of my coworkers have got the AirPods Pro and we're using AirPods Pro. And they were all very happy with it. Plus, they, they see things like, oh, yeah, when I go out walking the dog, it's great. It's fantastic. It's like, well, I don't have a dog, but I, I do go outside. Outside exists for me. And, you know, I want to start riding my bicycle again. I don't want things to fall out of my ear the way that these do. They fall on my ear nonstop. So maybe I'll do it. And in the middle of, for 15-minute meetings or 20-minute meetings, the AirPods 2 were doing great. They were fine. I was like, okay, maybe I'll just use these for this, and that's all I'll need them to do. We had an hour-long meeting today, hour-long web meeting, in which I listened and didn't talk. And by the end of that meeting, I could tell the batteries on the AirPods were going down because if I turned my head, one of them would lose signal, and signal would switch back and forth between them. And that's what happens when your battery's running low, which shouldn't happen because they were fully charged. It recorded that they were fully charged, and the case was fully charged, right? And everything was doing fine, but all of a sudden, I'm losing my signal. So I grabbed the wired ones out of the drawer over yonder, plugged those in. Everything's fine. In fact, the wired ones are the earbuds, the earbuds, or whatever you want to call them, that you get when you buy a phone. They're fantastic. They really are. And I got two pair that still have a headphone jack, so I can do stuff like this, specifically. So... I thought, you know what, I, I've been buying new stuff recently. I've been upgrading stuff all around the house. I should upgrade this too. Hey, Don, I'm talking about AirPods. So, yeah, I should, I should do that. And so I was in a meeting there, and I pulled up Amazon. And I said, I just, just send me these. I want these. I want to try them out. And so I did that. And uh, two and a half hours later, they're on my doorstep. Two and a half hours later, there is some warehouse in Seattle that says Four Scott James. And when, when I want something, it, it goes to that warehouse says, do they have it? Yes. Okay, send it to them. They put it on a truck and it gets out to here. I don't think that's sustainable. I don't think for my annual Prime membership, two and a half hour delivery is sustainable in any way. For anything, I should have to wait a day. It just I should have to wait a day. Otherwise... There's no difference between shopping at Amazon and shopping at the store, except for shopping at Amazon, I don't have to get out of my chair, except to go answer the door and then, hey, look, there's stuff. And guess what? There was stuff. So we're going to unbox these things. I've got the unboxing cameras all set up. So let's go over there. Welcome back to the unboxing theater. We have uh, reset the focus on this camera to be not auto, but down here where it belongs, it's still, you know, dealing with my light issues. But we've got my favorite tool in the universe and my second favorite tool in the universe right here, plus my AirPods. And the reason why I've got them out like this is to give you a sense of size and difference. I charge them up with my induct my, my wireless induction charger. Uh, you, you drop them on the charger. Hopefully it works. Boom. Yeah, the light comes on, means they're charging. Simple, right? Easy, easy peasy. Even through this leather case, it works fine most of the time. So I am going, first thing off, I'm gonna see if I can open the box, open the bag without tools. It looks like I can. Note that uh, the giant, this will give you cancer sticker is there, required by California. And here it says, lithium ion batteries in compliance with section two of, uh, PI-966. I have no idea what that means. Hopefully it means these won't give you cancer. Because I don't want cancer. Bad enough my head. Kind of shaved. Alright. I did not buy renewed AirPods. I bought new. New, new, new. I wasn't going to screw around anymore. These should last me years and years and years. And that's what I want. Plus, I love boxes. Specifically, I love Apple boxes, so be one more Apple product box for my shelf of Apple product boxes over here, like my watch and 
all the stuff. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna unwrap this thing. AirPods Pro with MagSafe charging case. Here made by Apple it says don't throw it away right here in the box. So let's not throw that away. In fact, I am going to oh move in a little closer. That uh, that motion there was my keyboard cable pulling on the charger. All right. It was just a tiny bit of tape. I thought that was going to be a, a big thing. I don't think... So the, the plastic was supposed to come off when I did that. It did not. It did not break. There we go. I had to get my fingers in there to do that. This part by Apple products I do not like. Let's stick that to that sticker. Let's get all this cellophane wrap off here so I can actually get to the meat of the unboxing. This, by the way, is a solid box. It is not going anywhere. It feels solid. It feels like I bought something, and I did. Boy, howdy did I. Gonna, yeah, part of the stream, right? We're gonna do stuff about it. Open that up. This, I mean, this is a, I don't know if you're getting the, the proper sense of depth on this, but this box is solid. This salt box is not going anywhere. I like that about Apple products. They want it to arrive at my house. All right. Well, here, 2011, 2021 Apple Inc. All rights reserves. It's a new bit of stuff. AirPods Pro. It's telling me how to connect, follow the steps. I know how to do the steps. I'm not going to pair this on screen, but just kind of look at the, the joy of these instructions, right? These are really well done instructions. It's a really well done box. Everything about these is awesome. Talks about the various tips. We'll show you the tips here in a bit. Safety and handling, regulatory compliance information, in a bunch of different languages. Every language is its own little sheet of paper. All right. Gonna put these back in the envelope sleeve so I don't lose them. Hey, we've got another viewer there. Uh, question for the room. How many of you have a box of Apple boxes or a shelf of Apple boxes that contains all of these little bits of paper that don't quite fit anywhere else? Because I don't think I'm alone. I think a lot of people have the exact same thing where they, they want things to be nice. All right. So here are... The AirPods Pro, we'll put those next to the AirPods 2 so you can get a sense of what we're talking about. I could probably zoom in on that too, but you can all see it. And I'll even put the uh, the ruler up there so you get a sense of scale, right? If you turn it like that, roughly the same size, a little bigger. Where this these stick out though is that they are thicker. I'm going to take the case off my AirPods now so you can definitely see the difference between the two. The AirPods Pro are wider. The AirPods Pro are longer. And the AirPods themselves are thicker. We'll get to that in a moment. I just want to go through the rest of the stuff that's in this box. Oh, look at that. So there's a a little instruction printed on that saying lift up and it lifted up here inside this it's the same sort of cardboard that was on my all right well that wasn't the question don i say how many people do it wasn't i'm going to get on my superior horse and say no i don't have those i don't would have supplied but it's okay i appreciate your feedback here are uh the the medium silicone tips are on these now these are the large and small tips this is the same sort of tiny cardboard that was on my watch when i got the watch out of the package right so it's good and uh hey i don't never have too many of these more lightning cable and this is Lightning cable, USB, 
C to lightning cable. So I can charge this specifically. They're packaging these now so that you can charge things from your MacBook. And then the rest of this box is still thick. Put those back in there for later. And we'll get, ah, I don't want to do that. That was silly. Don't do that. Okay, probably never use this box again, but it's important to have and keep. All right, so another layer of cellophane plastic. In fact, there's another two layers of cellophane plastic because it's folded around. How is this working? Oh, I see. So there's taped arms here and taped arms here. Put that in my pile of cellophane. Open this guy up. Open that guy up. It's got a charge on it. In fact, it's trying to pair right now with that. Uh, you can see the light glowing there. Yeah, you can see the light glowing. Uh, am I trying to get that out? All right. Well, those are in there. <laughs> it's hard to get these out. I, I gotta tell you, I'm not a fan of how hard it was to get those out. And this this case is snapping right back in. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put the case on here to charge while I deal with. Uh... Oh come on! Well, that's really interesting. There we go. I gotta find the right place to position it there to charge it. So these are very interesting as to how they are put together. Uh, you can see those guys there. Uh, these, you have to tip them up with your thumbnail and then they pop right out. So that's left and right there and left and right there. So they're smaller, but they've got a thicker, thicker presentation. In fact, I think that's backwards. Yeah, that's gotta be a right one. Does it have an R on it somewhere? There's the R. Really tiny R there. Can you see that? I don't think you can see that. This camera isn't dialed in just right for how tiny the R is, but this one is. You see it's got an R there. You catch it just right in the light. All right, so this is the right one. This is the left one. And so... I would put them in like this. You can see they are very small, but immediately they are blocking a lot of the sound coming out of the room. In fact, I can't... Wow. So this has put out a lot of noise over here, this fan, right? And uh, my PC is running a lot. I've got the fans dialed down to, to keep the noise uh, from, from breaking into streams and whatnot, but uh, a second after this was in my ear, The noise cancelling of these kicked in. And it's not that the noise went anywhere. It's the active noise cancelling from these AirPods is basically shoving noise into my ear that equals that noise and pushes it out. And it is unnerving. It's like I'm walking on the moon. And this is not something that I get from these at all. These just sit in my ear and they blast music into my ear. So even not paired, right? These aren't paired to any device I own right now. They're already working. They are already canceling noise. And it's, it's amazing. I, people told me how good these are. It's gigantic, the noise, the difference. People told me how good these are. Until this exact moment, I had no idea 
what they were talking about. None. These are fantastic. I'm going to pair these now. That's going to happen. I believe I have to push this button for a few seconds. Till that light starts blinking. Oh, I gotta do that with the, the things in. All right, yeah, yeah. Is it that way? Is it this way? I don't know how these go in. All right. That looks like that's how they go in. Oh, look at that. AirPods Pro. Connect. Yeah, that's what I want. I had to have one of these in the case. Like so. All right. Okay, that's good to know. Set up now. Yeah, yeah. Now it's calls notifications. All right. So just out of the just out of the box, I've got those are my power settings. Right. These things are ready to use right now. They're fantastic. I might, I might even try pairing these with the PC just to see how things work, but, uh... There was a noise in my ear, that's what I want. The noise of my computer has disappeared. So, I am gonna go right now... Oh look, I got six months of Apple Music free. After that, it's... 10 bucks a month until canceled. I don't I don't want that. I'm going to go to Twitch right now and listen to myself talk because this is going to be interesting. I'm li yes, I am live. I can't, I can't describe how different this is. I really can't. It's just amazing. Just a second with these things in, and I can hear nothing from the room around me. It's fantastic. In fact, listening to myself talk, when I talk, you can get a, t a really tiny bit of the fans over there. Tiny bit of the fans, but not a lot of the fans. I've got my gain settings, and uh, I'm going to pull my compression down a little bit to get rid of those fans nonstop, but it's, it's quite different. Like that little growly bit there when the fans go, that's something. All right, so I'm going to turn off Twitch so it's not distracting me. And that's it. Wow, I might just leave these in all the time. You know, not that I, I need hearing aids per se, but it's their Bluetooth, right? I want to I wanna test out what the Bluetooth is going to be like, how I can control it. You know, I could control all this from my watch to up here. And it's uh, it's... I, the noise cancelling, just having them on, the noise cancelling is fantastic. So if I've done nothing but increase my peace of mind by having these cancelling noise, we're going to we're gonna definitely, definitely get my money's worth. Well, that's it. 
I don't have a lot more to unbox or unpack. Uh, I am happy with my purchase in a way that I am not happy years and years later, right? I've had these things for four or five years. I didn't expect these things to last forever. In fact, these things have been knocked out of my ear, fallen to the pavement, split open. I had to put them back together on the fly before I boarded a bus. You know, I mean, they've been through the wars. I'm not giving these away. I'm not donating these. I'm going to keep these in the box as the emergency backup pair with all the other pack of pairs that are in the box. And my friend Stefan Ramirez, you know, watched me go through uh, earphone after earphone stuff that I kickstarted, all this kind of stuff. Rather than buying actually the right thing that I needed, he saw me buy all these other things and said, you should do a you should do a, a website. You should do a blog about that. And I said, ah, this is before I started streaming. This is before I started doing a lot of stuff online. I was like, that's not really me. It's me. It's totally me. Here I am talking for 27 minutes about nothing. And, uh, and you know, talking about how much I like the boxes that Apple products come in, which I do a lot. Oh, just dropped on the sensitive part of my anatomy. The instructions have weight to them. It's a surprise when this goes boom to a sensitive part of your anatomy. You're not prepared for that in any way. Okay. But now, I mean, I wanted to break these open and use them the, the minute they got in, but I didn't have time to set up a stream and, and get things squared away so I could do this recording. I could have just stopped working for the day and then done the stream, but that's not really going to help. All right. Can I... Why is that off? I think this is just a hair off from where I want it to be. Make sure that that's sitting on the right side. There we go. Now it's now it's straight. It's not sticking up. All right, well, that's my unboxing and initial review of the AirPods Pro in a Matic Safe charging case. This is a truly remarkable product. They're on sale right now on Amazon. It's the other reason why I bought it today. It's because they were $80 off. And uh, that means, of course, they're coming out with a new version of this, and they're blowing out inventory. But $80 off, that doesn't suck. And it definitely... It definitely put them on my radar. So this is it. This is me now. I'm an AirPods Pro guy instead of an AirPods 2 guy. Bye, AirPods 2. I'm not going to miss you. You get messy and dirty and the, uh, the grills fell out a couple years ago. You know, I kept track of the first grill that fell out and I was able to shove it back in. But then it didn't. Over time, they just got lost. And uh, you can't replace them. You can't get replacements for them. You just got to get whole new AirPods. And since I was looking at upgrading, not the brightest move. Uh, I did buy this leather case. I bought a new leather case for these. They'll be here tomorrow or Saturday. But since I'm not leaving the house, you know, I don't need that level of protection. I did this backwards, didn't I? Yeah, I did. There we go. That's what you want. And I'll have this nice distressed leather case to go with my uh, soon to be distressed MacBook case. You saw my stream the other day where I unboxed this. Got my very hefty computer, some very hefty protection. I just set off the thing, didn't I? I can't tell because my noise is being canceled. But that's where I am. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Sorry. If you did not enjoy the stream, but this is what I do. I unbox things and let it be known that I am an idiot with a microphone. That's what I do. That's who I am. So uh, please remember to like, follow or subscribe to my stream. If that is something that you want to do, if you want more updates, uh, do not pay for this content. It is free content. So do not subscribe to me on Twitch. Just follow me on Twitch. That's fine. You'll get ads there, and that's okay. Somebody else is paying for those, not you. And that's uh, that's what you need to remember. You should not pay for my content unless I get really, really good at it. 
And so far, I'm an idiot. But if you do want to support the stream and support me in my endeavors, there is one thing you can do, and that's buy my books. I'm a science fiction author and a game designer, and I also publish science fiction books and horror books and poetry. I publish books by independent creators because like, I care about them and the, the stories that they have to tell. So if you go to artistentertainment.com, you'll see a variety of science fiction books, including mine, books by my partner, books by my friends. And uh, I'm even giving away a book. I'm giving away a book called Homefront, my first science fiction novel. Uh, I sold it to traditional publishing. I got the rights back. I turned it into a trilogy. That trilogy is available there for sale. For $10, you can get the ebooks of all three of those books. But for $0, Zero dollars and zero cents. You can get my first science fiction novel, Homefront, the ebook, right there on ourcentertainment.com. And it costs you 99 cents on Amazon. And I'm not saying don't buy that, but I get a quarter of that. Uh, and if you buy it directly from me for zero dollars, I get 100% of that zero dollar. And you get a free book. What a bargain, right? Tell all your friends to buy my books, especially the free ones at ourcentertainment.com. Other than that, that's my pitch. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope you have a great rest of your day because my stream is ending.